excited. When I was little, I went to a festival. Wooly came too. The festival was like a long fairy tale land. Some people were still like statues. A man floated. A mermaid smiled. A man was so still. A seagull sat on his hat. I was excited. There's a noise like a vacuum cleaner. The man blew a big bag and played a tune. I did a wee dance. Very good. <laughs> I was all excited and bubbly inside. There was a man in the middle of the street. The man juggled. The juggling man asked Daddy to hold the ladder. Then the juggler climbed the ladder and juggled. Everywhere, everyone was so excited. People dancing, people singing. But the most exciting thing of everything was my friend Angel. Angel was there too. I was so excited. I wanted to cry and laugh. I wanted Angel to bubble like me. I hugged Angel hard. But Angel wasn't excited. Mummy said, calm down, Tig. Mummy took me to listen to a lady playing music. I don't want to listen to the lady. I think we're all getting a little bit overexcited. I wanted to be excited. Mummy was spoiling the fun. Hey, Tig. Mummy's not spoiling the fun. Mummy is a bit worried, that's all. It's fun being excited, but it's no fun being too excited. Being too excited is like bubbling over. <laughs> Being too excited is like not knowing whether to laugh or cry or jump up and down. <laughs> Being too excited can be scary. Scary for everyone. Being too excited can make the magic go away. So sometimes when you are bubbling up with excitement, it's fun to stop for a moment. Be still, as still as a statue. It's magic and fun for everyone. So go for it, Tig. Have an exciting or magic time. Yes, I thought. I like to be excited, but I don't want to bubble over. Well done, Tig. You seem a lot calmer now. Come on, let's go and have some fun. I had fun being a statue. Angel played statues too. We were very still. A lady as still as a statue. So Willy, she moved. It's only a toy spider. It's only my toy spider, I said. I like exciting magical days. I like bubbling inside. And I love Willy. birthday present. When I was little, I had a big, big birthday present. It was all wrapped up. When I unwrapped my big, big birthday present, I found a bicycle inside. It was all shiny and pink and purple with a bell and a basket and a seat in the back for Willie. Mummy said, don't ride your bike. Are you going for a ride? 
Not in my pajamas. Not in my pajamas, I said. When I got dressed, I pushed my bake outside. Should I help you ride your bike, said Mummy. No, I said. I just want to push my bike myself. I love my big new bike. Willy likes my new bike too. That night, I wrapped my bicycle up. I wanted to keep it all shiny and new. The next day, Mummy and me went shopping with our bikes. Shall I help you ride your bike? said Mummy. No, I just want to push my bike. It was a long way to the shops, round the fountain, past the playgrounds. I pushed my bike along. Going downhill, my bike ran away. Boing! <gasps> Tig, you need to use your brakes. Do you want me to show you? No, I said. I just want to push my bike. When we got to the long path, I was puffed. Tig, why don't you sit on your bike and I'll show you how to pedal? It'll be so much easier. No. No, I said. I just want to push my bike. At the shops, Mummy bought lots of things. I bought a flower for Daddy. Come on, Tig. On the way home, we stopped and watch the big children on their bikes. They look like they're having fun. They're having fun, said Mummy. I pushed my bike some more, and then I stopped. I didn't want to push my bike. Tig, let me help you on your bike. No, I said. I didn't know what to do. Hey, Tig, pushing a bike is OK. But riding a bike looks much more fun, doesn't it? Pedal, 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 wee! But doing something new for the first time can be scary. Wee! Ta-da! Not quite as scary as that, but still scary. All you need is a little help to get you going. Pedal, 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 wee! Hey, Tig, sometimes you just need to ask for someone to help. So, why don't you ask your mum to help you ride your bike? You might find it a lot easier than you thought. Pedal, 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 wee! Go for it, Tig. You'll still have your new bike, but now you'll be riding it. Yes, I thought. I'll ask Mummy to help me ride my bike. Now, if you can sit on your bike, and if you put your feet on the... She showed me the bell, the pedals, the brakes, and how to go round and round. Riding my bike was easier than I thought. So Mummy and me rode all the way home. When Mummy saw Willy, she nearly fell off her bike. What's that in the back of your bike? He's only my toy spider, I said. I love riding my bike. And I love Willy. Yes, it's me, Willy. Sand Castle. Right, Tig, where shall we put When I was little, I went to the seaside. He had buckets and spades and a picnic. Oh. Willy came too. Okay. There was sand everywhere. Oh. Mummy and me ran down to the sea. Mummy showed me how to draw pictures in the sand. Mummy drew a mermaid. We gave the mermaid lots of shells and seaweed hair. Tig, picnic time! Daddy made a picnic. We had sandwiches. Mmm! Yuck! Sun, 
There's not sand in your sandwiches, though. There was sand in my sandwich. Shall we go back down to the beach and see that mermaid? Come on. Come on, Tig. After the picnic, we looked at the mermaid. The mermaid was gone. Just see. She must have swam away, said Mummy. Come on, Tig. Let's go make a sandcastle. OK, it's time to build the sandcastle, said Daddy. We built a real sandcastle with our buckets and spades. We made a big hill of sand. We patted the sand and made the hill smooth. We filled our buckets with sand and emptied them all over the hill. Wow! We made windows in the castle with shells and flags with seaweed. Looks just like a mermaid's castle. Looks like a mermaid's castle, said Mummy. I loved my mermaid sand castle. Willie loved it too. When it was time to go, I wanted to take my sand castle home. <laughs> no, Tig. The sand belongs on the beach. No, said Mummy. Tig. Why don't you go and get Willie? I didn't want to leave my sand castle. The sea might wash it away. I want to live with my mermaid castle forever. Hey, Tig! Whee! I know it's sad leaving things behind you like. It's glum leaving things you had so much fun making. But some things belong where they are. Sand castles belong on the sandy beach by the sea. If everyone took their sand castles away, there'd be no sand left to play for another day. A hill, a pool, a starfish, an octopus. Who knows? Swish! What magic shape? Swish! The sand will make tomorrow. Swish! But today we have... Da -da -da -da! We have your mermaid and her castle. So go for it, Tig. Wave bye-bye to your mermaid and her castle and let them go back to the sea where they belong. Yes, I thought. My mermaid and her castle belong to the sea. Bye-bye, mermaid. Bye-bye, castle. <laughs> On our way back to the car, Bully and me chased Daddy. Daddy thought Willy was an octopus. He's only my toy spider, I said. Come on, Tig, come on. I loved my day at the seaside. I loved my mermaid and her castle. And I love Willy. When I was little, my daddy took me on a train. Willie came too. Hello there. Uh, we had to buy tickets for the train. Daddy gave me my very own train ticket. At the front of the train was a steam engine. I'd never seen a steam engine before. The steam engine whistled. I was scared. Daddy was excited. He took lots of pictures with his camera. A man blew a whistle. Come on, Tig, said Daddy. Inside the train, we had our own little room with big armchairs. Woo woo! Chuff, chuff, chuff. I was so happy. This was the best day ever. Clatter, clatter, clatter. Chuff, chuff, chuff. Clatter, clatter, clatter. Hello there, tickets, please. Tickets, please, said the man. Through the country, chip, chip, chip. under the bridge, chip, chip, chip. I love the train. Chip, chip, chip. Come on, said Daddy, let's go and explore. We found a little shop. Orange juice, please. An orange juice? Daddy bought me a juice. Bye, see you later. This was the best day ever. Yes. Mm, up the hill we chucked. Daddy said, 
said, the engine driver would need to shovel lots of coal. I was so happy. The train chuffed into a little station. Daddy and me got off the train. Good girl. Time for lunch before we go home, said Daddy. Home, I thought. I don't want to go home. Daddy and me had lunch. It was the best day ever. I didn't want the day to end. Time to go home, said Daddy. No, I thought. I don't want to go home. Maybe if I had Daddy's camera for a little, then the day might go on for a little longer. So I hid Daddy's camera under a tree. Where's my camera? Maybe it's in the bin. Maybe I put it in the bin. Oops. Daddy's in a tease, Tig. Poor Daddy. Hi, Tig. When you're having the best day ever, thinking of it ending can make you feel sad and cross. But best days don't just end, they can be there forever. A best day is for remembering. A best day is for talking about to mummy. A best day is for seeing all over again when you look at daddy's pictures. Oops. And this best day you can carry away with you. Your very own train ticket to remind you of all you did. And hey, and there's more fun to come. Woo -woo! Chuff, 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 chuff. Go for it, Tig. Help Daddy and say sorry. Then you can have more of your best day together. Yes, I thought. I was making Daddy sad. I wanted us both to have the best day ever. I said sorry to Daddy for hiding his camera. You are happy again. Oh, there, do you have tickets? I showed Willie to the ticket man. Oh, dear me, what is that? It's only my toy spider, I said. I love remembering my best day ever. And I love Willie. When I was little, me and my friend Timmy went to visit a castle. Willie came too. Daddy knocked on the door, but no one answered. Oops, I think we got the wrong time. We'll come back later. Let's go and have a wee play. Come on. The castle's closed. We have to wait. The castle had a big, tall tower. Up there is the castle tower. Yeah, soldiers used to be up there. That tower's for soldiers, said Timmy. Timmy marched like a soldier, and I copied him. Time to march into the castle, said Daddy. A man opened the door for us. Hello, can we come and see the castle? Oh, yes, please come inside, yes. Come on then. Thank you. Inside the castle, it was empty, just walls. It smelt funny. And this is... I see the fire, please. The fire would rise and smoke would come out the chimney up there. Be careful on the steps. Timmy found a little room. It was a friendly little room with cupboards on the wall. I wonder what's in this door. I like the little friendly room. Yeah. Look, there's a wee window, right? Can we go up the tower, please? Can we go up the tower? said Timmy. Of course, said Daddy. Timmy opens a big door. Ooh. I heard a woo. I didn't like the woo. Daddy said the woo was Timmy. It's just an echo, OK? Don't be scared. I didn't like the echo. I was frightened. I ran back to the little friendly room. Hey, Tig. New things can be scary and strange. And there's lots of new strange things in a big old castle like this. 
strange smells, strange rooms, and strange sounds. Hey Tig, that woo sounded strange. That woo sounded scary. Woo! But that woo was just Timmy having fun. In a big old empty castle like this, sounds sound different because they echo. Cooey! It sounds like someone is copying me. No one's copying me. That's just my echo sound. I made it. And you can have fun making echoes too. Woo! Woo! So go for it, Tig. There's no woos behind that door, only the woos that you and Timmy make. Yes, I thought. No need to be scared. Just silly echoes. Come on. I wanted to go up the tower. Daddy opened the door into the woo room. There were no woos. And so me and Simmy had fun making woos. We made lots of other echo sounds. Hello! Then Daddy took us up the tower. We went up some tiny stairs that went round and round and up and up. At the top of the stairs was the top of the tower. Timmy marched round the tower. When Timmy saw Wooly, ah! he was a scaredy woo. It's only a toy spider. I like the old castle. I like funny woos. I love Wooly. I don't smile. When I was little, I went to nursery school every day. Willie came too. One day, a man was coming to take our pictures. Mummy wanted me to look pretty. Oh, you do have a pretty new dress, said Claire, my nursery teacher. Something very exciting's happening today, isn't it? Claire said, because the man was coming to take our pictures. So, I think we should put our aprons on to keep clean. We had to keep clean. When we went outside, we took our aprons off and put on our coats. I found a puddle. I had fun jumping in the puddle. When I came back inside, I wanted to paint. Take a look at your socks. I'm going to have to get you some clean ones. Oh dear, said Claire. Your socks are all wet and muddy. I painted a hand painting. Claire likes my painting. Oh. Oh no, your dress. Oops, I forgot to put my apron on. My dress was covered in paint. Claire gave me some new clothes to wear. The man came to take our pictures. When the man finished clattering, he started taking photos. We took it in turns to have our picture. Say, hey, you'll have to wait, said Claire. Mummy's coming with some clean clothes. I didn't want to wait. I didn't want to change my clothes. I wanted my picture now. I felt grumpy. Mummy arrived. She had another dress. Claire fiddled with my hair. I felt grumpy. If she doesn't want to change, it doesn't matter. Never mind, said Mummy. If she's happy in those clothes. But I wasn't happy. I still felt grumpy. Who's next then? Next, said the man. I sat on the chair. Are you going to give me a great big smile? Smile, said the man. You sure? I don't I smile, smile, I said. OK, then. The man pressed the camera. Next, said the man. Are you next? I watched the other children having pictures. Whoa! No one was grumpy, but 
I was grumpy. Hey Tig, it's not nice feeling grumpy. But there are so many little things that can make you feel grumpy. Brushing hair, pinchy hair slides, changing clothes, waiting for things to happen. Everything not being quite how you want it to be. But what can make you feel even grumpier is a grumpy face. And a grumpy face makes everyone else feel grumpy too. But if you smile, all the grumps will go away. Give a smile and make your grumpies go away. Give a smile and you'll feel happy all the day. Give a smile and all your grumpies will turn into your happies. Give a smile and make your grumpies go away. Go for it, Tig. Give a big smile for everyone. Yes, I thought. I don't want to feel grumpy anymore. I want to smile. Make everyone feel happy again. So I sat on the chair and gave the biggest smile ever. When the man saw Wooly, he didn't smile. It's only a tight spider. Oh. I love smiling. Mummy loves my smiling. Oh, look, that's a lovely picture of you, Tig. Especially in the picture. And I love Wooly. Yes, it's me, Wooly. Tig. Fireworks. When I was little, I went to watch fireworks. We went to Timmy's house. Wooly came too. Timmy had a garden. At the end of Timmy's garden was a park. We're going to watch the fireworks in the park. I see where they'll be doing the fireworks. Timmy was very excited about the fireworks. I wasn't excited. I didn't like fireworks. Timmy had animal masks. He ran around whooping. I had a cat mask. I went meow. I like playing at Timmy's. <laughs> Mummy was excited about the fireworks. I think everyone's getting a little overexcited about the fireworks. I wasn't excited about the fireworks. But I like playing at Timmy's. We did painting. We painted firework pictures with big bangs and whooshes. I like the firework pictures, but I didn't like fireworks. Go! We played funny games. We played blow the grapes. Go take, go take. Oh, for your hands. We played bite the jammy scone. Try, that's the game. Reasons to eat them. We played pop the raisin bag. The bag went bang. It's like a firework. I didn't like fireworks, but I like eating the raisins. The fireworks didn't start until it was dark. When we waited for the dark, Daddy told us a story. Daddy told the story of the three bears. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Bernard. Daddy lost. Oh. Daddy got the story of the three bears all wrong. And she started to eat the bears' cabbage soup. Porridge. Por oh, right, porridge, right. When the three bears came back in, they caught Goldilocks and she was watching the television. She was sleeping in the three bears' bed. Oh, is that what it was? Right. Silly I'm daddy. I know, dad's really silly, isn't he? Then it was dark. Time for the fireworks, said mummy. I want to play hide and seek, I said, and hid under the table. Everyone was excited about the fireworks. Come on, Tig, you make us all late. I wasn't excited. I didn't like fireworks. I was scared of fireworks. Hey, Tig, just because everyone else isn't scared of fireworks, doesn't mean that you can't be scared. Fireworks scare me. The bangs, the flashes and the whizzies. Fireworks scare lots of animals. Dogs and cats hate fireworks. So when the fireworks start, the best place for animals is indoors. 
So maybe when the fireworks start, the best place for you and me is indoors too. Then the fireworks won't seem quite so scary. And then we can look after each other. So go for it, Tig. Tell everyone that you don't want to watch the fireworks outside. It's too scary. Yes, I thought. I'll tell Mummy and Daddy and Timmy that I don't like fireworks. Don't worry, Timmy. No worries, said Timmy. We can watch from the window. So we did. And I cuddled Willy. Watching the fireworks from inside was fun. The fireworks whizzed and whooshed and painted the sky. When my toy spider heard a big bang, he jumped. It's only a firework, Willy, I said. I like fireworks and I love Willy. <laughs> <laughs>